All right, so the next step that we want to do is create what's called a protein structure file that will have an extension of .psf. And what it does is it tells NAMD about charges and ionization states, uh, stiffness of bonds, um, non-bonded interactions, and angles such as dihedral angles for the various uh, parts of your molecule. Um, so what we want to do is we want to load that uh, PDB file that we just created. So I'm going to do that. That should be csnp.pdb. And there we have it. Uh, if you want to, you can make a nice uh, pretty representation, but it's not all that important right now. All we want to do is create this structure file. Um, so what we want to do is we want to stick as much as possible with the basic functionality that we can get through VMD. Um, so we're going to be using all of the uh, graphical user interfaces that are available here, um, but be aware that you can do all of these things manually through scripting if you're a more advanced user. So I'm going to open the built-in protein structure file builder that's under extensions modeling automatic PSF builder and it will open a GUI or a graphical user interface that looks like this and it's pretty good at guessing if you only have one structure open that you want to use that structure um, if not, you may need to change that here where it says molecule. Uh, I'm going to change the output base name to just CSN. We can, uh, for basic molecules that don't have any uh, additional things like ions, uh, sulfates, uh, ATP, and things like that, we can just leave the topology file as it is. And then uh, what we want to do is click load input files. Just do that once. Uh, it does happen even though it doesn't show you that anything happened. Then we want to guess and split chains using current selections. And you may see some things happen if you have the TK console open in the background, um, but it will make a guess at the chains that you have in your molecule. It's telling us we have 293 amino acids here. And the next thing that we want to do is create the chains. And it's going to give us uh, this output. And it says, uh, as long as you don't have any other things that you need to take care of, special patches to deal with things like phosphorylation, uh, then we can just click OK, because we don't have anything. We're doing this in the most basic way we possibly can and it will give us something that says the structure is complete. We can click OK. I'm just going to click back here and <clears throat> quickly show you the TK console. Uh, it will tell you that it wasn't able to guess very accurately some of the coordinates and that's fine. Um, it'll give you totals for uh, various things like atoms and bonds uh, and it'll tell you that it updated structures and you should see that your structure was updated here if you left it in this default representation, you see that a bunch of white pieces show up on your molecule. Those are the hydrogens being added to your molecule as it creates this structure file. Uh, the next thing that we probably want to do is just verify that they, the, the files were created where we want them. So I'm going to go to my explorer here and just make sure that some new files, CSN, PSF, and a new PDB that includes the hydrogen showed up there. You're welcome to open those and browse them and see what's in them, um, but that's not so important for the activity that we're doing here. And so I'm going to end this tutorial here uh, now that we have our protein structure file.